All right, thanks, guys. We got ourselves a massive slate of NHL action, so let's go ahead and get into it. Got a pretty good, you know, eclectic mix of favorites and dogs here for you today, so let's go ahead and dive into them. Don't want to keep you here all day. Kind of want to rapid fire through these things, so let's go ahead and begin with the Canucks taking on the Canadians, and that'll be a 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Montreal. The Canadians open $1.30 up to minus $140. Total open five and a half up to six flat. Vancouver, uh, Vancouver's plus a buck twenty on the money line. Montreal plus a buck eighty-five on the puck line. We have price for the Canadians. Demko for Vancouver. Montreal has dropped five out of their last seven. They're also just 13, 15, and five on their home ice. The Canadians rank in the bottom ten in home scoring on average per game. They're averaging just 2.7 goals per contest in that category. Now, Vancouver on the other side, they rank in the top 10 in scoring on average per game themselves. They're also 18 and 12 against the number away from home. And of course, when I refer to the number or against the spread or ATS, I'm referring to the puck line. All right. Total wise, Vancouver 6-2-2 two two to the over in their last 10 19 and 11 to the over when traveling. Meanwhile, three out of Montreal's last four got over the number themselves. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Vancouver plus a buck 20 in the over. Six goals in that contest. Next game, Toronto traveling to Tampa Bay to take on the Lightning. 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop at the Emily Arena. Tampa Bay's minus a buck ninety total at seven. Money's on Tampa Bay and the over. Lightning open a buck eighty five up to minus one ninety. Total open six and a half all the way up to seven flat. Toronto's plus a buck sixty on the money line. Tampa Bay plus a buck thirty laying the goal and a half. Vasilevsky for the Lightning. Anderson for Toronto. Tampa Bay eleven and two straight up in their last thirteen. They rank first in scoring on average per game. Top 10 in goals allowed. They're giving up just 2.7 goals per contest in that category there. Toronto on the other side. Winners of just three out of their last eight themselves. They rank the bottom five in goals allowed. And they're just 2-7-1 and one in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with the Lightning if you're into historical trends. Now total-wise, Toronto 21-10 and 10 to the over when traveling. Tampa Bay 20-9 and 9 to the over on their home ice, I'm going to lean Tampa Bay minus one and a half and the over seven goals in that contest. Next game, Sharks, Flyers, seven o'clock South Philly. The Flyers are the $2.40 favorite total at six. We did see a 15 cent move toward Philly. Money on the Flyers in the early wagering here. They open 225 up to minus 240 totals at six flat. The Sharks are plus $2 on the money line. Philly minus 105, laying the goal and a half. Hart for the Flyers, Dell for the Sharks. Philly 6-2 straight up in their last eight. 21-5-4 at the Wells Fargo Center. They're also 21-9 against the spread on their home ice as well. Flyers rank at the top five in home scoring. And they're allowing just 2.2 goals per contest at the Wells Fargo Center as well. Sharks on the other side, losers of their last four straight. Just 12, 17, and three on the road. They rank in the bottom three in road scoring. Now five out of the Sharks' last six games did stay under the total. Philadelphia, 18 and 12 to the under on their home ice. I'm going to lean Flyers minus one and a half. And the under six goals in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Tuesday's NHL action. Happy Tuesday to you. Hopefully you had a good Monday. Uh, I know we did on my Patreon site. We went 3-1 and in our premium picks on that website yesterday. It's going to increase our record to 9-1 and in our last 10 NBA tier package plays on that website. We're also 12-3 and in our last 15 college basketball tier package plays on that site as well. And the good news is we have another college basketball tier package play going off tonight guys we do daily premium sports picks on that website beginning at just one dollar and 99 cents through the end of the month we have a bunch of different memberships tiers and packages that you can subscribe to go ahead and join the over 1100 members currently active on that site and if you want to check out my current patreon record 
You can do that for free right now. It is right on the home page. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock page. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal liens right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Jets taking on the Caps. 7 o'clock, nation's capital. Washington open a buck 90, up to minus 200, total six and a half. Winnipeg's plus a buck 70 on the money line. Washington plus a buck and a quarter, laying the goal and a half. Sam Sonoff for the Caps, hella buck for the Jets. Washington just 11 and 20 against the spread at home. Losers of six out of their last eight. Washington also ranks in the bottom 10 in goals allowed on their home ice. Meanwhile, Winnipeg on the other side, very good on the puck line when they travel. 21 and 10 against the spread on the road, top 10 in road scoring. Caps, a lot of overs for this Washington team. 23 and 8 to the over on their home ice. I'm going to lean toward another underdog. Give me Winnipeg plus one and a half in the over. Six and a half in that contest. Next game, Flames. Bruins, 7 o'clock, Beantown. Boston open 210, up to minus 220, total six flat. Calgary's plus a buck 80. Boston plus a buck 15 on the puck line. Rask for Boston, Riddick for the Flames. Riddick comes into this game with a 291 goals against and a 908 save percentage. Calgary, 5 and 3 straight up in their last eight. Top 10 in goals allowed on the road. They're allowing. Just 2.8 goals per contest when they travel. Now, Boston on the other side, just 15 and 17 against the spread on their home ice. They rank 19th in the NHL in home offensive shots. Total-wise, Boston 20 and 12 to the under on, on their uh, you know home ice. They're also 7, 2, and 1 to the under in their last 10. Calgary on the other side, 20 and 13 to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean Flames plus 1.5. And the under six goals in that contest. Next game, Rangers, Islanders, 7 o'clock, uh, not Madison Square Garden, uh, 7 o'clock, uh, Long Island. Uh, the Islanders are minus 140, totals at six. We are seeing money on the Islanders in the early wagering. Five cent move toward New York. Uh, the Islanders open a buck 35, up to minus 140, total six flat. Rangers are plus a buck 20. Islanders plus 170 on the puck line. Varlamov for the Islanders. Gorgiev for the Rangers. The Islanders have lost four out of their last six games. They also rank in the bottom three in offensive shots. Meanwhile, the Rangers on the other side, winners of seven out of their last eight themselves. They rank the top 10 in road scoring. Now, six out of the Rangers' last nine did stay under the number. Islanders are also 6 0 to the under in their last six straight. I'm going to lean toward another underdog. Give me the Rangers plus a buck 20 and the under six. Next game, Stars, Canes, 7 o'clock Carolina. The Stars open a buck 10 up to minus 120, totals five and a half. Carolina's catching even money to win this one outright. Dallas plus 235, laying the goal and a half. Bishop for the Stars, uh, Anton Forsberg for Carolina. Now, if you like the stars in this matchup here, uh, Ben Bishop comes into this game with a 245 goals against and a 922 save percentage. Dallas winners of six out of their last eight. They also rank the top three in goals allowed, just 2.5 goals per contest in that category. Carolina on the other side, struggling to cover the puck line at home. Uh, out of their 31 home games, they've successfully covered the puck line in just 13 of them. Now, total wise, Dallas is 40 and 22 to the under. I'm going to lean stars minus a buck 20 and the under five and a half in that game. Next contest Devils versus the Red Wings. 730 Detroit. The Devils open a buck 25 up to minus 135. Totals five and a half. Detroit plus a buck 15 on the money line. New Jersey plus a buck 85 on the puck line. Blackwood for the Devils, Bernier for the Red Wings. Detroit ranks dead last in everything. New Jersey, 6-3 and three straight up in their last nine. Top 10 in offensive shots on the road. The Devils are 3-0 and to the under in their last trio of games. Give me New Jersey, minus 135, and the under 5.5 in that contest. Next game, Blue Jackets, Wild, 8 o'clock Minnesota. 
The Wild open as the $1.60 favorite, up to minus 175. Totals five and a half. Blue Jackets plus a buck 55. Minnesota plus a buck 50 on the puck line. Dubnik for Minnesota. Corpusalo for the Blue Jackets. Columbus 20 and 10 against the spread when traveling. Top three in goals allowed. They're giving up just 2.5 goals per contest. Minnesota on the other side, just 14 and 18 against the spread on their home ice. They rank in the bottom 10 in offensive shots. Now, total wise, Minnesota 20 and 13 to the under on their home ice. I'm going to lean toward another underdog. Give me Columbus plus one and a half in the under five and a half in that contest.